Have you ever felt like there's an evil presence in your life? It's a question that may seem dramatic, but the reality is evil doesn't always come in the form we expect. It's not always a sinister figure lurking in the shadows. Sometimes it's a person sharing your space, your life, even your heart. The concept of evil in human form can be difficult to grasp, but it's essential to understand it to protect yourself. An evil person can cause untold harm, leaving you feeling drained, confused and hurt. But how do you recognize such an individual? We're here to help with that. We've identified 10 signs that can aid you in recognizing the evil that may be hiding in plain sight. These signs are not about labeling or judging others, but about understanding behaviors that can cause harm. Recognizing these signs can be the first step to reclaiming your peace. Firstly, an evil person often manipulates others. Let's delve into this sinister art of manipulation. It's a strategy that evil individuals use to twist others around their little finger. They pull the strings from the shadows, orchestrating events and people to suit their whims and fancies. Imagine a puppeteer hidden behind the curtain, controlling the movements of the marionettes on stage. The audience is none the wiser, captivated by the performance, oblivious to the mastermind pulling the strings. The puppeteer, in this case, is the evil person, and the puppets are the innocent people they manipulate. Manipulation is not always overt. It's often subtle, cloaked in seemingly harmless words and actions. A compliment here, a favor there, but all with an ulterior motive. They exploit emotions, weaknesses and vulnerabilities to control others, making them feel indebted or obligated. In the world of an evil person, manipulation is a tool for them, a way to gain control. Secondly, they show an alarming lack of empathy. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is a fundamental human trait. We've all experienced that comforting feeling when someone truly understands our plight, our joy or our pain. But imagine someone who is devoid of this capacity, who views your emotions as mere pawns in their game. Picture a friend who, upon hearing of your recent heartbreak, shrugs it off with a nonchalant, so what? This isn't just rudeness or insensitivity, it's a glaring absence of empathy. Let me share an anecdote. Imagine a child who breaks his favorite toy. His sibling, instead of offering comfort, laughs at the incident. This isn't playful banter, but a clear sign of lack of empathy, a sign that can grow into something more sinister in adulthood. In the face of others' emotions, the evil person remains unmoved, unbothered. They simply can't put themselves in another's shoes. Thirdly, they seem to enjoy others' misfortunes. This dark characteristic is often referred to as schadenfreude, a German term which directly translates to harm joy. It's the pleasure derived by someone from another person's misfortune. This trait is particularly common in individuals who harbor malevolent tendencies. Let's paint a picture. Imagine a colleague who's always the first to share bad news, their eyes gleaming with a hint of satisfaction, or a friend who can't help but smirk when you share a personal setback. These are instances of schadenfreude, where the pain or failure of others is seen as an opportunity for personal enjoyment or gain. This is not to be mistaken with harmless teasing or friendly competition. This is a deeper, more sinister trait. It's a joy that is not derived from personal achievements, but from the despair and misfortune of others. Their happiness feeds off others' misery. Fourthly, they are often deceitful. Deceitfulness, my friends, is the art of concealing the truth or misleading others. This is a favorite tool of those with evil intent. They weave intricate webs of lies, often so convoluted that even they lose track. Picture this. A man, let's call him John, gifts his partner a beautiful necklace. She's overjoyed, believing it to be a token of his love. Little does she know John bought the necklace with money he stole from her savings. His gift, it seems, is a clever disguise for his deceit. These individuals lie and cheat with an ease that's chilling their conscience seemingly non-existent. They manipulate reality to their advantage, leaving a trail of confusion and hurt in their wake. They are masters of illusion, creating facades so convincing you'd be forgiven for believing them. But remember, for these individuals, honesty is a foreign concept to them. Fifthly, they can be exceptionally cruel. Let's delve into the dark realm of cruelty. This is not merely about being unkind or insensitive. 
It's about being purposefully hurtful, vicious and malicious, without any cause or provocation. Imagine, if you will, a person who takes pleasure in your pain, who savours the taste of your tears. You stumble, they smirk, you cry, they chuckle. A simple disagreement escalates into a full-blown assault on your character, your dreams, your very essence. They don't just cross the line, they obliterate it, leaving you in the wreckage of their wrath. Cruelty in the hands of such individuals is not just a weapon, it's a pastime, a hobby, an art form they've perfected. They wield it with such skill, precision and delight, it's chilling. It's not a reaction or a response, it's a choice. Their cruelty is not a sign of their strength, but a testament to their depravity. Their cruelty knows no bounds. Sixthly, they are often narcissistic. Narcissism, derived from the Greek myth of Narcissus, who fell in love with his own reflection, is a term that describes a personality disorder where individuals have an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. Picture a king sitting on his throne, expecting everyone to bow down and worship him. He belittles others, treats them as mere subjects, all to maintain his sense of superiority. This is the height of arrogance, the epitome of narcissism. An evil person with narcissistic tendencies views themselves as the sun, with everyone else as planets destined to orbit around them. They demand constant admiration and can be excessively critical of those who do not provide it. For them, their needs, desires and opinions are the only ones that matter. The world, for them, revolves around them and only them. Seventhly, they avoid accountability at all costs. Accountability is the willingness to accept responsibility for one's actions. It's the understanding that our choices have consequences and we must be ready to face them. But evil individuals shun this essential trait. They dodge, deflect and deny, refusing to take ownership for their actions. Consider this example. A person habitually arrives late to meetings, causing inconvenience to others. When confronted rather than accepting their mistake and apologizing, they blame traffic, their alarm clock, or even the person who scheduled the meeting. They twist the narrative, making themselves the victim rather than the offender. This avoidance of accountability is a hallmark of their character. They refuse to acknowledge their part in any wrongdoing, always shifting blame onto others. They maintain an illusion of perfection, as if they can do no wrong. They believe they are above reproach. Eighthly, they are masters of betrayal. Betrayal, a word that carries with it the weight of broken trust, shattered promises and dissolved bonds. It's a cruel act, yet it's second nature to those who harbour evil within them. Picture a friend, a confidant, someone you've shared your deepest secrets with. Then imagine the gut-wrenching feeling of discovering they've used that knowledge against you, to manipulate, to exploit, to harm. That's the modus operandi of the evil individual. They wield trust like a double-edged sword, carefully crafting an illusion of loyalty, only to strike when you least expect it. Consider the tale of the snake and the farmer. The farmer, out of kindness, takes in a freezing snake, only to be bitten once it's warm. The snake's justification? You knew I was a snake when you took me in. This is the essence of betrayal by an evil individual. They don't just break trust, they shatter it. Trust is just another weapon in their arsenal. Nightly, they are constantly critical. A relentless stream of criticism is a tool that evil individuals often employ. Criticism in its constructive form is a necessary part of growth and improvement. It can be a beacon guiding us towards betterment. However, when it's used as a weapon, it morphs into a destructive force, chipping away at self-esteem, instilling doubt and sowing seeds of insecurity. Imagine a person who, under the guise of helping, never misses an opportunity to highlight your flaws. They zero in on your weaknesses, magnify your mistakes and diminish your accomplishments. Each word, each remark, crafted to belittle, to demean. It's a constant barrage, a siege on your self-worth, aimed not at guiding you towards improvement, but at keeping you in a state of perpetual self-doubt. This isn't about helping you grow. It's about maintaining control, about asserting dominance. It's a clear sign of an evil person in your life. They pull others down to lift themselves up. Lastly, they are highly unpredictable. 
Unpredictability, in essence, is the ability to change behavior or course without warning or apparent reason. It's like a sudden gust of wind or a storm that strikes when the sky is crystal clear. Picture this. A friend, always warm and tender, suddenly turns cold and distant. You're left baffled, wondering what you could have possibly done to cause such a shift. This change isn't driven by circumstances, but rather is a deliberate tactic employed by those with harmful intentions. It's their way of keeping you off balance, of ensuring you're never quite sure where you stand. It's a form of control, a way to keep you guessing, to keep you in their grip. So beware of those whose moods swing like a pendulum, whose behavior is erratic and whose actions are as unpredictable as the tides. For these are the individuals who harbor evil within their hearts. They are a storm that never gives warning. Now that you know the signs, what next? It's not enough to merely identify the presence of evil in our lives. It's about taking the necessary steps to protect ourselves and safeguard our peace of mind. It's crucial to understand that setting boundaries is not a sign of weakness, but a bold assertion of your self-worth. Create a safe distance between you and the individuals who display these signs. There's no shame in seeking help either. Reach out to trusted friends, family or professionals who can provide you with valuable guidance and support. You do not have to face these struggles alone. Most importantly, remember that you are not defined by the negativity that others may impose upon you. You are resilient, capable and deserving of respect. So stand tall, navigate your path with courage and don't let the presence of evil deter you from living your life to the fullest. Remember, you have the power to protect yourself from the evil in your life.